hello and welcome friends welcome to another unboxing of a quite rare chinese fountain pen probably you are familiar with the panda pen you saw it first on my channel so i have here the diamond 61 panda pen which i nicknamed it the lipstick pen uh, not only i bought it in a lipstick holder made in italy but it has the same characteristics as a lipstick guys so i present to you the diamond 61 panda pen from the 70s and i think that this was a commercial success because in the 1980s youth developed this product unfortunately mine is a little bit broken here but no matter how i will review this fountain pen today for you first of all let me show you what i call the diamond 61 from the 1970s a lipstick pen so if we unscrew this part it reveals the nib and the grip section and it is quite quite small and you have to unscrew this part and now we have a functioning fountain pen. Well, in comparison with the designs from the 1970s, I present to you today the Panda Youth Fountain Pen. And they released this Youth Fountain Pen in two variants. In the variant of a fountain pen and in the variant of a ballpoint pen. On the internet, I found uh, different different versions of the ballpoint pen, which was factory named 734. But I didn't find much information about the fountain pen. Let me show you how uh, we can uh, operate it. So the cap on screws and it reveals this nib and the grip section and in contrast with the other fountain pen on this one you simply put it right here it posts quite quite well and we have a functioning fountain pen this one unscrews and we can see that we have the same the same mechanism as we did on uh, the diamond 61 fountain pen in the sense that we have this sack and inside of it we have that uh, inner tube that brings the uh, ink to the sack so in a way it's similar with the famous aerometric system of the parker 51 but it lacks that metallic part with that road so that road you can uh, apply pressure with your fingers instead of that metallic rod of course the ink capacity is quite small but it does its work unfortunately this fountain pen was uh, broken and i bought it i like it is unfortunately the seller didn't include the broken part maybe i could super glue it or something like that you can see this is a plastic in a turquoise color by the way guys i paid for this youth fountain pen only 40 lace or 8.08 .08 euros or 8.92 american dollars in fact the transportation cost of it the shipping cost was the same as i paid for it so around 25 lace for it and the shipping cost me 15 lace so almost the price that i paid for it and again i paid this low price because it is a broken instrument i still can use it and now i want to compare it with the diamond 61 so again i believe that the diamond 61 was a piece from the 1970s and this youth is a piece from the 1980s 
and you can see the difference between them so the head of the panda bear seems almost the same it is screwed in at the top of the cap and i've seen some pictures with the diamond 61 without the head and i will leave it uh, on the screen because in this case this uh, head is quite stuck here but you will see that on the youth i can remove it by unscrewing it look like this and it reveals the nib and uh, th you can also take this youth clip if you want so practically this is the fountain pen i will leave its uh, dimensions on the screen and after that i will try to do a writing sample with it so let me place them right here so they they are now in a writing mode so again this one i unscrew the cap i try to place the barrel as it was initially and this is the length of the other panda fountain pen and just for a comparison i have here uh, Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146 from 1983 for you to see them side by side so here they are guys bear in mind the Mont Blanc is not ca uh, po the cap is not posted okay <laughs> And now I am ready for the writing sample. So let's take the Mont Blanc out. Let's take the Diamond 61 like a lipstick out. And let's see how uh, we can write with this beauty. For the ink, I have here a Mont Blanc, a royal blue ink, quite an interesting ink. And let me change the angle of the camera guys because i want to show you the writing sample a proper proper writing sample and i hope i can uh, show it to you just give me one second yes i believe that yes is good i'm sorry about the lighting of the sun i am filming this right in the middle of the day so this is the mont blanc royal blue ink and this is our fountain pen so i hope that the level of uh, ink is quite quite high because i want to show you in detail what i'm doing here so i will bend it a little bit now i am introducing this nib by the way it's a steel nib uh, maybe gold plated but i think it's an alloy that gives it a dark gold color to it i'm sorry let me zoom on it for a minute because i i think i know there is nothing engraved on it look uh, before i ink it look also at this beautiful beautiful feeder this plastic feeder okay guys now i'm ready so let me zoom out because I want you to see what I'm doing here. So I'm simply inserting this and make sure that the breathing hole is fully emerged in ink. And now I am pushing on this rod. So I hope it will draw. Look, we have some ink being drew on it by the pressure. I... Um, I repeat this procedure and I think I have a little bit of ink in the reservoir as you can see so uh, it uh, uh, it won't fill up all the sack but it's it is enough for my writing sample let me see if I have a little tissue here yes I have a little tissue so I will simply remove the excess of the ink, mainly from the gripping section, but also from the nib. And now I think I am ready to do a writing sample. I will leave this 
unkept in case I will need more ink. And guys, on uh, this size of a fountain pen, it is recommended for you to use it kept. But due to the fact that I have here a weak point, I will try to use it only with this part to see how it writes. So only like this, guys. And I hope that I won't break it anymore. And I will hold it like this. So what I have here. Here I have a youth, a youth panda, panda fountain pen, fountain pen. It was made in China or the People's Republic of China in the 1980s. When you see this review, it is probably the first review of this fountain pen on YouTube. Like this was a premiere on YouTube, the Diamond 61 fountain pen. I've searched for it and I didn't see a youth panda fountain pen being reviewed on YouTube. So you saw it first on my channel, the pen collector channel. Okay, youth panda fountain pen made in China in the 1980s. It has a steel nib. And maybe it's gold plated, but because it has this nice, nice color to it, I'm not so sure. I believe that it writes like uh, F for a fine nib, so quite, quite nice. I'm not so sure, so sure if it has an iridium tipping. It appears to, it doesn't have that iridium tip, but we will test it and we will see about that. So, first of all, I want to see if we have a springy nib. So, I'm trying to see if the tines... No. So, don't we don't have a flexy nib. No flex. Now, I'm trying to see if we have some line variation. So, here, no pressure. And here pressure no line variance no line variance it seems to be quite a juicy nib let me see yes it is a fairly juicy nib now i'm curious to see if we can reverse right with it maybe let's change a little bit the angle of the camera and I'm sorry for these stains, guys, but I'm trying to recycle the, the paper I use for the writing samples. We are at uh, the last papers, maybe uh, this uh, notebook will hold another five or six writing samples. And after that, we will move on to another, another nice, nice travel journal that I received from a friend. And if you don't know what I mean, I will leave the link at the end of this video. So that notepad will be used for further writing samples. Okay, guys, let's return to the Youth Panda Fountain Pen. And by the way, guys, I'm not so sure. Uh, maybe 734 is the designated number of the ballpoint pen, Panda ballpoint pen from Youth. If you know the number of the youth fountain pen. So this is for the ballpoint pen, ball point pen. Maybe you know the number of the fountain pen. And if you know the number of the fountain pen, please leave it in the comments. Let me see if we can reverse write with it. Reverse writing. So definitely a possibility, guys. I believe it writes like an extra fine in comparison with its normal fine writing. But uh, I, it is possible to reverse write with it. But I think that it loses in a way its ink flow. So it doesn't scratch, but you can see that the ink flow is... Uh, quite quite diminished so reverse writing a possibility let me see if i can do a signature with it 
Yes, quite a nice uh, signature fountain pen. And now let me tell you about the Fox. So the quick brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. So I'm quite impressed with this fountain pen. It is a rare fountain pen and uh, with this tur turquoise or green, let me see, um, in some lighting it looks like a turquoise, but I assure you it's a, a green, green color to it. I'm not so sure if I will ever find a replacement part for it, but maybe I can find one and I'm not so sure about how the ballpoint pen is constructed, but I'm sure that if I find another barrel, even if it isn't of a green color, I'm pretty sure it will work on my model. We'll see about that. Never say never, no matter how rare the fountain pen is, sooner or later, it will find its way to your collection. So I'm not sorry I bought this broken as you can see it. It is a nice nice looking fountain pen and I wish that the model producers will build something similar to this. It's such a simple simple design guys and it's such a beautiful beautiful and attractive fountain pen for children. So guys, this was my review of the Youth Fountain Pen, Panda Fountain Pen, a product of the 1980s and a nice, a nice, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, I didn't um, put the bare head proper. Okay, now it's proper, put, placed, and now it doesn't doesn't move as an interesting fact on the back of the cap now i can see we have made in china i'm curious to see if on the diamond we have also made in china at the end of the cap no so another per particularity of the youth panda fountain pen from the 1980s guys this was my review i hope you've uh, enjoyed it if you've enjoyed this review, remember you saw it first on the found the pen collector channel. So please support my activity by subscribing to my channel. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, please take care of yourselves. Bye bye and God bless.